Hello friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you a trick that I discovered just a few days ago. I was trying to um, get an app to allow me to read uh, my messages, my um, email messages. It was very difficult to find an app that worked. It seemed like since the addition of Siri, Apple has blocked that uh, third-party uh, apps to have that function and it will make sense because Apple wants Siri to be the default um, text-to-speech um, utility in the iPhone. So how to do this? Since Siri still is in beta and it doesn't read aloud your text messages, it only reads the I'm sorry, it only reads text messages, but it doesn't read um, emails. So, and also it doesn't read a, a web page. Let's say that if you are using 100% Siri, you tell Siri to look something on the web. I would like a way to for Siri to read me back what she found. And this is still not possible. And I'm uh, guessing it's going to be there in a future update. But anyway, um, there is an alternative way to do this. And that's it's an, it's enabling something in the iPhone that will do this uh, text to speech. Now I'm going to show you the final result. You know, after you have set it up, all you have to do is like triple click the the button on the iPhone to enable it. Voice over on messages. The feature is called Voice over on, or it's called Voice over, and uh, I set it up so when I click three times the, po the, the, the button, it will turn on. So this is an um, accessibility feature for, it's normally for, for like the uh, people that have problems in their vision. And this is gonna read everything that I touch. Maps, photos, notes, clock. So it could be useful. It's, it's, it's indispensable, of course, for people that have uh, problems in their sight or in their vision. But it could also be used to read things. So, for example, if I'm notes. hearing the notes, notes, and I have created this note as a test, and you just click this is it. A test. Testing iPhone text to speech. This is great. So anything you touch, it will it will be read aloud. So this will work in emails. It will work in. Um, in Safari, in anywhere in the iPhone, and it's really convenient. Now, it does change the way um, the interface works. So, for example, I cannot Please scroll like before. So, it's um, and to to get into things, you have to double tap. Add button. Add add button. See, you have to no. double tap to get it into the options. So it does make it confusing, but the good thing is that you can just simply turn it off when you're done by again triple clicking on the iPhone button. Voice over off. So how to do this? All you have to do is go into settings, then scroll to um, general. Once you are in general, you scroll down to accessibility then you go where it says, you go all the way down where it says triple click home. This option allows you to assign what does the triple click or triple clicking the, the iPhone button will do. So in this case, you have all these options and I'm gonna just select toggle voice over. So that will be what happens when you triple click that button. So once you have that set up, that's all you have to do. And of course, uh, there are many settings that you can see here on the accessibility uh, menu. And if you want to see also the options in the voiceover, you just click on voiceover and scroll down. You can change the rate that the voiceover speaks, um, the different phonetics, the pitch, you can change even the pitch. And there is a lot of uh, options that you can settle here so you can explore. But anyway, it's a really cool thing, and uh, it's something that is kind of hidden. And you know, if you are not thinking about it, it's it's kind of hard to, uh, unless you are really the type of person like me that goes through all the options. But even me, it took a, I have I have been using the phone for a while, and I didn't realize that existed until just a few days. So I wanted to share it with you. I hope it was useful, and it could be useful to you. And uh, really, thank you for watching.